Amanda Fairchild, and I'm here to give you a harp lesson. Feel that in your muscles. You're going to start to feel that tension building. Right? Stop for a minute. Move your shoulders around. Loosen that up. This isn't going to come in a day. But I promise you, once you get these muscles going, not only will you sound beautiful, you will look beautiful, and not just when you're playing the harp, just every place you go. Absolutely steady. I don't want to lose that glass of wine, do I? Two. Touch. Close and touch. Close and touch. Both hands together. High thumb on both of them. Arms up. Back is straight. By golly, I hope you're breathing. Thumb closes. Two comes in. Three comes in. Four and five come in. Did I pull away? No. Steady as a rock. Close. 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 And close. Now comes the George of the Jungle. This is my favorite thing to do because once you get this, you'll really have fun with this. You're going to take your right hand starting in the And at exactly the right moment, we're going to snap them all three shut just like that. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put my third finger on my C. That's my root. That's my root of the chord. So I'm going to skip a note. I'm going to go up to my E. That's my third. I'm going to skip a note. I'm going to go up to my fifth, which is my G. With my high thumb, I'm going to make sure that all of my fingers are just exactly the way they're supposed to be and I'm going to snap them close. Finger opens and closes. This is a great exercise. Now, so we've got our left hand. All we're going to use are those two chords, our D minor and our A minor. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, there's no wrong notes. That's why this is such a fun exercise. We're going to just pull any note we want. second finger, I'm coming down with my thumb. Now you never want to backhand down with your nail. Great way to ruin a manicure. <laughs> then you're going to put all of your music together. You're going to start playing your songs with your chords. You're going to put your arpeggios in. You're going to make an absolutely beautiful sound because you're playing the harp.